Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you some projects that I created. Um, so let me share with you. I have quite a few that I wanted to share. Um, first, I made this altered envelope. This is again using some lightweight chipboard. The closure is Velcro. And um, this is using the Anna Marie Collection by Prima. I'm actually selling four sets of my um, altered envelopes on my Facebook if you want to check it out. And I'll put the link to my Facebook down below and also four sets of my cards um, if you're interested. And then um, I add some lace here and tied a bow. This is the coordinating um, chipboard pieces. And then this is a saturated canary digi image that I colored with my Copics. And then I have some Prima flowers here and some Recollections flowers. And it makes a cute little um, gif to put a card in or a little um, altered, you know, handmade flower or something like that you could put inside and so that's that one and then I made some more easel cards this one is using that apple die from Spellbinders so instead of a triple easel card I made a double and this is an older collection that I had and I'll put again I'll put the information down below and I use the MFT stamp and then um, I cut out the little ABCs and then just put some pop dots to give it dimensional and then I add this sentiment teacher's rule and I fussy cut out this cute little puppy and I put a dimensional and that's what holds up the apple and then you can see it from the side so it's cute also as a double easel card if you want to do that so that's one of them another one I did is I had a ton of those envelopes left from the Michaels corrugated cards um, because I make those cards so dimensional they basically won't fit in these envelopes so instead I'm just going to alter these envelopes rather you know so I don't want to put it to waste and they're really nice size envelopes so I used the new collection that I showed from Hobby Lobby from the paper studio and so I add this little cute cupcake and this is a um, some odd girl digi image She's really cute, holding a little cupcake. And I love her little chef's hat on top. So I colored her with my Copics. And um, I use this cupcake um, sentiment here. And this is a Stampin' Up! Punch. Um, some Michaels trim and then some Prima flowers. And I love how it turned out. I think it's really cute. And again, it's just a little easel card. Same concept of the card, but except I put it on an envelope. So you could do that as well. And here's another one of the altered envelopes. And then this is using um, the Anna Marie collection by Prima. Has a lot of dresses in that collection. So I use this cute little Sizzix die. And this is a Greeting Farms image. And I colored her with my Copics and paper pieced her dress. And then that's where I added the cute little bow. And I love this trim by Michaels. Um, my Michael still carries them and they have a bunch of them so I picked up a lot of those and um, this is some Prima flowers and I use the coordinating chipboard adhesive sticker and because it's an envelope I don't really have any place to write so what I did was which I mentioned in the other video you can line the easel part um, on the bottom and that's where you could really write your message so that's what I did here so I lined it with the design paper and that's where I'm going to write my message. And then it just sits up like that. Super cute. So that's another one I did. Oh, and then I add this cute little um, coordinating um, chipboard adhesive piece from the collection. I love that bow. So that's that one. And then I made two Halloween cards using um, the My Mind's Eye Wicked Collection, again using that corrugated card. I can't get enough of this card. Um, and I layered the um, design paper, add some pearls, and then some lavish laces trim. These are some old frames that I had from another Halloween collection that I got at Michael's a couple years back. I had a bunch of them, and so I put the frame here. This is a saturated canary digi image. I love her zombie images. I think they're perfect for Halloween. So I colored her with my Copics and then some Prima flowers. And then this is the inside of the card. 
And then the sentiment is from the Studio G. It's the new Halloween stamps that they have out. So it says Halloween wishes. I really love this one. The authentic Halloween tricks and treats. And then it says five cents. I thought that was really cute. So I used that stamp. And then the other one I made is an easel one, which is this one. Which is again using um, the corrugated card. I didn't use any die. I basically just cut a shape of a rectangle and then it sits up like that. Actually, let me move this one out. So it sits up like that and it's another zombie saturated canary image which I colored her also with my Copics. And some Prima flowers. Again, the Michaels trim. And then this is um, an image from the design paper that I cut out. Trick or treat. It's a really cute banner. And then the inside, I lined it with the design paper. I thought that was really cool, a little skeleton there. So that's that card. And then let me share another one I did. I made actually a treat bag using the Tim Holtz in the bag die. It makes a cute little treat bag as a favor. And I saw this when I was pick trying to find some more burlap paper, which I got really lucky and I got um, three stacks um, at another Joann's near me. It's um, about 20 minutes away, but it was worth it because I found this paper. And my Joann's I normally go to didn't have this one. So this was new when I saw, well it was new to me when I saw it and it's gauze paper. And I thought it was really cool and it was just perfect for Halloween projects and the colors were perfect as well. Um, let me show you the colors. So it's really cool paper and I, I love the way it feels. And it's just really nice and you get again 24 sheets just like the burlap and it's a 6x6. Six six. And so I made the treat bag and I used a greeting farm image which I colored her with my Copics and paper pieced her dress. This is a piece of um, cut out from the design paper from the Wicked My Mind's Eye collection I got at Michael's. And then this is some Webster Pages trim. And this is a Michael's flower. And then um, some Prima flowers here. And I thought it looks really cute as a treat bag. So I made that. And then the other two projects, I made a letter and envelope booklet set. And I created them with both the new Prima collections which is this one is the delight and I thought it was really fun so I just took some lightweight chipboard and I just created a little book out of it and then I add the coordinating die cut um, adhesive pieces so it says delight in the little things and I put here cherish and then some Prima flowers I add a cute little doily and then some lace here so it opens up like this and then inside is the envelope and letter set so there's six envelopes and then six letters and I use the we are memory keepers envelope board and I use the six by six dimension which basically creates a three by four card and all I did was I just punched a hole here using my crocodile so I ran the lace through and then ran it through here hot glued it in the center and then ran it through this side again and that's what makes the closure and then I just created a belly band for all the envelopes and then again a belly band for all the cards and I love how it turned out I thought it's just really cute and it makes a really wonderful gift and here's the other one I made using the Anna Marie collection get this open. So again the coordinating adhesive chipboard pieces and then it says lovely and then a prima flower and then there's the envelopes and then the cards and then I add these adhesive um, pearls. They came with these trims so I just add that in the center and again I created a belly band for both of them and they, again they make some wonderful gifts. Let me see if I can get the measurements. Um, this is actually, it measures four and a half in height by three and a half in width. 
and then this is uh, half an inch. So three and a half plus three and a half, that's what, seven? So it's seven and a half by four and a half is what you're gonna cut. And then you're gonna score it basically at the three and a half and then at four. And that's what creates the, the base, okay? And they're really fun to make. So I hope you give it a try. And I really enjoyed making all of these. And thanks everyone for watching. Bye.